Hi friends, I want to make a quick video about my spirit fingers or spirit dancing, etc. But specifically talking about like the finger uh, dancing. Um, so someone in one of the groups mentioned that one of her hands does, you know, this number, um, but not both. And so we started talking and I was telling her a little bit about my experience. So I've always felt really sensitive to like energy and especially sound. And for as much of my life especially my adult life as possible i can remember like being in the car you know i do more than just tap and um and i usually would only do it by myself but you know like music would come on and i'd like feel the music you know like sometimes i feel like i'm like a conductor or whatever except it feels like not like i'm directing but like responding and like feeling like the shapes of it and stuff and there have been times where i thought maybe it was a form of like synesthesia which i mean like it still it could be um but this past year when I really started to kind of like come out of my shell and like blossom spiritually and like allow myself to be more expressive and free and not hold back and maybe some of this also has to do with you know like I guess we're going to use like matrix terms like you know like I'm fairly certain I'm on the spectrum and all that stuff and I think they're called ticks where people will move their fingers and stuff and I've seen people do it but I've not seen anybody do it like I do, and I can generally prevent myself from doing it. I've had a few instances where my hands and fingers just start doing their own thing. And I have to like grab them, hold them down, be like, not right now, hands. But I, for the most part, I feel, or at least my experience has been, is that it's an energy thing, it's a responsive thing. It is both a form of um, release, expression, manipulation, um, I feel like there's another word I'm forgetting, but, uh, all, all those things. So like, I mean, cause I, I usually have like a ton of energy, but I'm also really sensitive to the energy around me and yeah. Um, and it's a form of play. Um, it is a form of healing. Um, it is, I love it and I'm so thankful that like I've opened up this year and allowed myself to just, you know, like in the past I was so nervous, you know, that someone might see me that I like, that I held myself back a lot. And now for the most part, I just let myself, you know, like if I feel guided to move, I do. And sometimes, so sometimes for me, it's like an expressive, like energy dancer. It's me like releasing energy. Sometimes, like, or like right now, like I can feel the energy around my body. I mean, it's kind of like Reiki in a way. Um, like I can feel that I've got some denseness here and like I can, you know, pull and, you know, like all kinds of stuff with it. Um, I've had um, friends tell me that they can you know, feel when I do this in person and through video. So that's been really awesome. But even without the like healing, like energy um, stuff, I feel it's just a really beautiful form of like expression. And it's even extra awesome when you get to that point where you can like feel the energy like around you, because we all do have, you know, we're all energy and we've, and we've got energy body. And you know, I think, I would think most people, regardless of whether you are sensitive to energy or not, I mean, technically we're all sensitive to energy, but, you know, sometimes it feels like heat, but it's more than that. Like, okay, so like, try putting your hand above your other hand or some part of your body, and they'll, they'll be a place where it feels magnetic, like, um, you know, I mean, you get real close. I mean, you could feel heat. But for me, it's like there's a magnetic pull and I can feel it. And when I get that going like really good, like, I mean, like I can feel it very, very strongly. And it's pretty awesome. One of the things I um, recommended uh, to this person is just, you know, like just go, go be by yourself if you're shy. Turn on some music. And like let, I mean, and if your fingers don't go crazy like this, you know, just move your body. I mean, it's not really like just about the fingers, but like just responding, allowing yourself to feel and respond to the energy like around you. And it's just a really beautiful, like healing thing. And um, 
I think, you know, like in our world right now, we are so like oppressed, suppressed in various ways. We hold ourselves back. We allow other people to hold it. I mean, really it's us holding ourselves back because we're worried about other people. But, you know, give yourself permission to like loosen up, be free, be expressive. Go do it by yourself if you want. I do highly recommend recording yourself. You don't have to share it. You don't have to. You might want to, though. But, you know, I recommend recording yourself and, you know, watching it after the fact. And, yeah, it might feel awkward at first, but the more you do it, like, the easier you get. And let me just tell you, as a big girl, and, I mean, like, I've lost a bunch of weight, but I'm still a big girl. You know, when I first started recording myself, I was like, oh. But I'm so glad I did. It's really fascinating, especially... If you empty your mind and you just allow your body to respond and you don't think about what it is that you're going to do. And for me, that's the part that I find really fascinating. I especially love to turn on music that I've never heard before and just see how my body's going to respond to it. You know, like, I mean, because when I loosen up, you know, like I just feel like spirits flowing through me. And like guiding me. I mean, it's some sometimes I know one hundred percent that spirit is guiding me. Like I like because I channel and I can, I can feel the connection and I can feel. I mean, because there have been times where I try to take over, just you know, usually just a test. I like to test things. If y'all haven't gathered that by yet, and I'll try and test. And you know, sometimes they let me take over. Sometimes they don't. I fought for control of my arm before. I mean, I wasn't mad about it. If I really wanted control, I know they'd give it to me. But like, they were trying to do some like healing on me and stuff like that. And they're like, no, keep going, keep doing this, that sort of thing. But anyways, there's my little, you know, like ah, spirit fingers, spirit dancing, spirit, whatever, you know, I mean, like we're all connected to spirit and all that kind of stuff. And you know, the stuff that I do, I go back and forth. You know, Spirit told me to call it spirit dancing. But I mean, like, it's also like energy dancing, energy work. I mean, it's basically Reiki. There might be some people that try and like, be like, oh, no, it's it's not. There's a traditional form, blah, blah, blah. Reiki just means freaking energy, um, universal energy, guys. Um, let me know if you have any, like, questions or anything. Like, I'm still figuring this stuff out myself, but I feel like I've come a long way this year. And, you know, I can just, I can just tell you what my experiences have been, so... Peace.